talked about education funding and possible changes to the base student allocation. It's also known as the BSA. That is the amount of money provided to school districts by the state on a per student basis. Senate already introduced a BSA increase of $1,000. There are many different ways lawmakers could move forward with this, but one of the main issues is that changes to the BSA are tied into how much money is available for the permanent fund dividend. And one of the big decisions is whether or not to tap into savings for those payments. Now, many teachers and others have testified in favor of the BSA increase, but along with other concerns, there were some worries about how a possible change to any funding is based and how the allocations are being interpreted. But I'm struggling with the notion that the department knows what each school district has in its reserves and how much money that those school districts can use towards fixed costs. And I, I want to explore that more as we go through this presentation. There is certainly uh, a lot of questions floating around in this building. And, and I think that there's one, it's one thing to be told you, you can spend the money in particular ways. And another um, thought is whether it's prudent the advice that we have provided because school districts ultimately are the ones determining how their funds are going to be spent was to try not to uh, spend funding that you're going to need to come back and ask for an increase to maintain those expenditures going into the future right we don't want to we don't want to experience a fiscal cliff um, when the funding expires on September 30th 2024. The Department of Education also says it does not have information on current finances of those districts. That part is local control. But when it comes to COVID relief funding, about $237 million has been requested by districts, has not been requested by districts, according to reports at the end of the most recent 